Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. Um, first off, I want to say thank you very much for all the uh, views and the subscribers from the last video. There's a bit of lag there. Um, but, however, today, I've been putting this off for about a week. We're going to be making the track up to the sawmill. I um, always hate doing the track up to the sawmill. After the sawmill, I'm like happy about stuff, but... We might as well get on with it. Also, these, um, I might have to redo this track because they're, they're quite sharp. Um, sheesh, you could say. Uh, but we can always do that later. I just want to get money in right now. So, with all that said, let's get on to it. I'll uh, be back in a bit. I'm probably going to record this next bit on the weekend because uh, uh, I'm it's quite late and I want to get this done so I'll see you in a bit okay I'm back um, it's been a couple of days I got it done uh, just now like maybe in one or two hours up at the logging camp it's quite a small area really if you want to do like uh, big wide curves so it's quite um, it was quite tricky I'm probably gonna change these bridges to different color maybe put the railing on the other side if I can I think if I start from the other side I'll be able to do that anyway let's jump into Betsy I haven't actually gone up there with the train yet so this might be interesting um, we will do some uh, loads still haven't figured out the train company name need to do that soon right Let's hop in to here. Actually, we might need to put some fire in here. Uh, so I, I didn't uh, mess around with any of this stuff. Uh, I might do it a bit later. Um, this video is going to be much shorter than the first episode because I did uh, all the building off camera. I did a bit in the stream, but I've I got rid of all that anyway because it was a bit rubbish. Yeah, I'm gonna change this bridge to the other side, make it look fancier. <clears throat> but I don't have to do that right now. I'm just hoping some of the turns aren't too um, steep. That needs to be smoothened out a bit. I could just make it go straight ahead. There's obviously a lot of things I could tweak. But I've gotten most of the kinks out anyway. This thing's speeding along. I think it's much faster than it was before. Sorry if the game's lagging a bit. Um, don't really have anything to say about it. Anyway, first thing we're going to try and do is buy a pile of cars and at least one of the train. To make things fun. Uh, today though we only can do like a couple of loads this is a bit of a sharp turn we might we probably need to change it eventually I'll need to make it wider around here I did uh, have it going around there but I can make it work that way so going up this two or three percent incline Struggling. Power. It's so loud. So yeah, you'll be able to see all of this on a map. Right. So here it is. It's uh, I'm not. I'm. It's definitely more than I've ever done before. But I'm not sure if. It's that great. Um, t like I need to tweak it, obviously, because some bits are way too bad. But uh, this track here goes all the way around to the end of this one, and uh, the other one goes into this one. Then I couldn't make the curve tight enough to go in there, so I'm probably gonna end up doing something. I might change all this but I'm thinking about just doing lanes over on that side because I still got room there 
Uh, I have a big turning table here. I'm surprised I could even fit it, to be honest. Alright, so that's good there. Got a turning table already. Turntable. It's lined up good there. Alright, so this this one is quite sharp. Um, which isn't ideal, but... I, I could just widen things up. Take it all the way out to the edge, I suppose. This one isn't ideal either. There's a bit of a bank up there. I guess we could go up right now. Um, anyway, there's a bank up here. I couldn't do the turn white. Uh, I think I got it on like 60 or 50 degrees. So, or 60 or 50 uh, meters anyway. <laughs> Sorry if I sound a bit odd. I got a bit of a cold. If you don't know, it's the middle of December. Um, almost time for Christmas. Um, this is quite tipsy as well. You can see it goes from going up to going straight down. It's not too bad. It actually is higher than another one right here. I think I tried to smoothen that out a bit. Yeah, it's, it's quite a tight area if you want to make wide turns. Uh, I want to be able to go as fast as possible. I'll see that looks a bit tight there as well. But I think this will work to begin with. And then once we get bigger trains, we're probably going to have to sort it out a bit. There's a, that bridge I'm going to need to fix though because that's a bit tight. But this should work out. I've got a couple of switches and it should work out great. So I'm going to go and get my cars. I'm going to buy two or three more. And we'll get back up. I'm not going to put any names or anything on them because I don't... What we need is to get a garage uh, kind of workshop shed. So then we can uh, modify. Because I want to put a light on Betsy. That's something I want to do. Uh, so. Let's. Uh, I'll be back in a bit. Oh also. Um, in the last episode. Someone pointed out that I uh, did the firewood depot wrong. And I uh, I thought I did something a bit wrong. Uh, the wood actually piles up in the middle. So I'd have to do another track on the side here. Uh, might as well get rid of that right now. Right. Um, facilities, maybe? Good there. Might as well leave the water tower. Right. Let's go back a bit more. Actually, no. Might as well buy these now. What colour? We'll probably delete uh, the ones without names once we have a company name. Oh, there's a pile of them. Do this. Right, let's check funds. Wait. Ah, <gasps> you don't have any money starting off. You used to have like about a thousand or two thousand. That's new. Quite slightly annoying, but. Right. Oh well. We'll have to properly work hard then. Oh, no, that's the wrong way anyway. Power. Right, we need to change this one here. I was hoping to get like three of these and a caboose on the back. Oh well. Doesn't matter now. Right, we are ready to go, boys. Uh, this will be fun. It looks so cute. This one. To be honest, I don't really mind not having any names or numbers on the cars, but it's like more like detailed than in it. Look at us go. Right, so we're starting to get some uh, work done, finally. We've got a pile of track laid now. I'm not happy with all of it, but it'll do. This looks really cute. So we need to get some more cars. That is the plan now. I think we get money from 
taking it sawmill. But do we get as much? That's it. Let's test that out. Let's take a load to the sawmill and a load to the depot and uh, we can get more cars then as well. See if we get the same amount of money or I don't know what will happen. By the way, I uh, got the bridge. Changed the bridge out next to the sawmill. So it looks better now. So uh, here's the bridge. Not quite sure about that first little bit, but looks better. I wonder if they're going to bring back the snow um, this year. They had a snow special update thing last time. I'm definitely going to redo this track, uh, make it smoother, make a link up to the other bridge smoother. Because right now it doesn't look particularly that good. I won't have to worry about any of the levels or anything then either, I don't think. Anyway, we're almost there, so we might as well, uh, might as well uh, record this. I want to say a special thanks to everyone that subscribed from the last episode. I went from like, what, 14 subscribers to 33? I'm not sure. Maybe more by now. Um, so I really want to say thank you for all that. And all the views and all the likes even. Got over 26 likes, I think. So uh, I'm really, I really appreciate all the support. Also, uh, all the comments really does help boost the algorithm. I do read every single one of them, so that was really nice. What a pretty place. This is quite a steep bridge, but um, I'm mostly going to redo it because it's not all the same uh, thing, so... It's quite loud. Um, I want to get a train that's faster, so I might have to get the Eureka, either, even though I said I wouldn't, but uh, might be a smart idea now. I'm not sure if I can actually turn around here. Actually, I might be able to. Um, if I keep going forward. Let's see if I can... Uh, turn this thing around. I'm not sure if I will be able to. We'll get a little we'll get, make a little test of if, if it struggles to go around these corners. I want to make it uh, on these two that two trains can pass at the same time. So um, maybe trains will hook here. Ooh, looks looks like it might, but maybe not. Probably gonna change it eventually anyway, so I don't I should, probably shouldn't worry that much. Right, let's see, how will I turn around here? Um Oh we just go around the loop. That's really neat. I've basically done what Con and uh Heist did. That looks really good there. I wanna put sheds in this area and then Lots of track on that area. Maybe a bit of both. I'm not sure how I'm going to get a switch here, though. Might be a bit difficult. I just have sheds here. This actually looks... It looks really good, to be honest. Um, just... I'm kind of worried about tight turns. Even though it doesn't look all that tight. For, like, big trains, it might be a bit of an issue. This one looks okay, though. Just rolling down the hill now. Picking up speed. I don't think we pick up speed any anymore. We used to. I think. I'm not sure, though. Anyway, this should uh, switch automatically now. I couldn't put a buffer on the end of that, sadly. Well, I could have, but it would look really ugly. Sounds awesome with the reverb. Yeah, we could definitely take this wider. For sure. I just didn't want it to seem like I was going like unnecessarily wide. Uh, but I think we'll probably have to anyway. This 
This works spot on, actually. Happy with that. This is actually quite a good setup. I, th I was wondering if it was going to be a bit weird, but no, it's fine. Anyway, let's get loading logs. I'm, I'm stuck. Cute little Betsy. Well, at least I can uh, fit through here. I was kind of worried that I'd clip some in. I might go through there. Oop. I might go uh, on through here a little bit because it does kind of go in. I don't want to clip the train. Right, last log. Um... I don't know how many cars Betsy will pull happily, but I'm going to try and get as many as I can. Let's hop in here. Yeah, we're going to test out this. I'm pretty sure we're going to get stuck here, actually. It's a miracle we didn't get stuck here. Look how close that is. Oof. I want to go quite slow. E Has this not got collisions? Are we, like, that close? Holy moly! Probably going to need to adjust that eventually, but... Yeah, that is rubbing against it. Hmm. Not ideal, but if it works, it works for now. Just don't want to go through that quickly. Right, going to be on our way now. And then we're going to do one more load on camera. And I'll do a lot on stream or just off camera altogether to get a lot of cars. And then that's what we're going to be doing next episode. Hopefully driving different train or... Having big loads ready to go and sell to the depot or something. Have a lot to sell everywhere. Yeah, we are picking up speed, I feel. There's no thing. No regulator. Are we picking up speed? I think we are. Not going to worry too much, though. Really loud. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going quick now. Oh, we're slowing down. Anyway, see you at the sawmill, ice, I guess. Right, we're coming up now. Uh, hopefully, this can be a smooth process. It should be. Uh, I want to get enough cars so we can do two rows at a time. Um, dropping off logs. So I think that'll be about eight cars, maybe? Might get 16 cars, but... Or 12 cars. Right, slowing down gradually here. Does that not work? Enter. Well, got his click. Oops. Good. Okay, how much money did we make? We made sixty dollars. Okay, so that, keep in mind that's sixty. So it all depends on how much we make next. Now, if it's more than sixty, then uh, we'll go to the depot. But. <laughs> That's a couple of logs in the pond there. Um, so yeah, this this is all going to depend on uh, how much money we make. Because we want to make a lot of money to start off with. Because uh, we don't particularly need... Unless the uh, stuff from Sawmill makes more money uh, overall than just selling logs. And we'll do that. But we just need a lot of cars to start off with. And possibly a better train. Anyway, so now we have to go to the depot to see how much money we get from the logs there. 
this and uh, then we'll be sorted to go. It's really loud. That's something I've noticed. Don't quite like that. You can see a uh, track kind of in the ground like preset. See it here. It's kind of for like it's quite cool really. Still not happy with this part here. I wish it was going straight. I don't know how I cocked that up, but I did, so I'm sorry. Right, here we go. Heading up. Oh, no, I don't think... I think this is fine here. I was wondering if it was too close. Right. Here we go. So we had 60, now we have 120, alright, it's the same amount, so we'll go to sawmill, save time, uh, and we'll get more stuff out of it, so, $60 a thing, that's cool, we need another 2 or 3 loads to get more cars, sadly. So, uh, more cars we get, we keep doubling, so that'll work fine. So, thank you so much for watching the video. There'll be another video out, uh, episode out in a few weeks. Uh, I am spacing them out a bit, uh, so then I can get a lot done and I don't have to stress out. I don't want to get burnt out because uh, it's happened with me a couple of times in past channel. Uh, in my past channels and uh, I don't like it so I'm taking it easy taking it fun uh, I'll see you in the next one